And hello everyone, my name is Midnight, and today I'm going to show you motion tracking. So, this is pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, it, it really depends on how much you want to do with this, you know, how, how good you want it to look. Uh, but it's essentially keyframe animation. So the first thing you do, well... First thing you do, find a point of an object that you want to track. And you're going to add in a title. Just do this real quick. <laughs> it's actually my second time recording this because apparently OBS does not capture Adobe Premiere's video uh, preview if you do it as a window capture so today I learned <laughs> alright so we're just gonna put uh, click here All right that looks good so you're gonna do that uh, you're gonna add it in do it right there yeah. actually you could probably do it like right there and make sure you're clicked on the actual title and go to motion and it really helps if you zoom in like right there we want the origin um, the uh, anchor point yeah that that word we want it to be like right in the middle of the text that way if you scale it at all it it scales properly and it's you know it's not scaling it from like over here <laughs> um, and it makes it easier to move and animate um, so we have it and we're gonna move it to where we want to animate it uh, let's see how does this look I'm gonna scale it just a little bit that looks good okay and now we are going to make sure at least for this all we need is position if it was a more complex um, animation you would want to use scale maybe rotation um, so we have a keyframe there and now let's go uh, Zoom out. Oh, it's well, too far. Nope. I should have just done like fit. <laughs> um, so like, I guess there. Uh, we're gonna move it. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Forgetting what you have to do already. And you're essentially moving it, and then it's kind of filling in the uh, animation for you. Um, if you've ever done like uh, 3D model animation, it's kind of like that. So as you can see, it it tracks it, and then fades to black. So what we can do is close that. And then, like right, right here, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna extend this a little bit. Okay, and then right here, we'll make sure we're clicked on this again. Go to motion, and do the best we can to imagine where the text is, and then. Ta-da! So if we go back, okay. First text that we already did. This text, that text. Not bad, right? So that's the simple way to do motion tracking. Um, there's more advanced tools. Unfortunately, um, so they use masks. 
I can't talk. <laughs> it's like allergies. Masks. <laughs> Masks. I feel like I'm saying it weird still. Um, <laughs> they have to use... Um, uh, what is it? After Effects? Um, but you can see the way they work if you go here. Uh, no, I want effects and video effects. Um, I guess what would be the easy way to do this? Um, stylize mosaic. We can add a mosaic to this. And then we're going to make a mask. See, so we have this big blob. Um, we could do that. Actually, the easy way invert it. Kind of like 50. Um, oh, I hate the way these, these work. Because I'm so used to like Photoshop. All right, so we're gonna do like that. Do, I guess that. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, we don't want any feathering. All right, took off inverted, and then gonna fit. So we have this um, mosaic. I guess <laughs> and we want it to track the car the way you do that is just do the the path and you hit forward and it it'll track the object forward into the video um, so again you would have to use After Effects um, to apply it to a text so that's why just doing like the keyframe animations pretty quick. You don't have to open up a new thing. Um, if it's something simple like this, you could do it in, you know, just a few clicks. Um, then again, if you did do it in After Effects for a text, I'm sure it'll look a lot better than, you know, my keyframe animation. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's a preview or if it'll look that way in the fi final render. Um, but it, it does look a little odd as it's, you know, tracking along. Um, so, so that's an option. Um, and I'm going to hit stop. That's fine. All right. At this point, we're going to do it backwards really quick. This takes forever, <laughs> but it work. It it seems to work pretty well. Um, so if like if you wanted to blur out the like driver's face or something, um, it's it's pretty awesome for that. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate that you can't just do it to text, but what can you do? You know. Uh, and that's good. That's. Okay, that's good. Um, and we can go back and then, you know, just play it. All right, that, that worked pretty well. Obviously, I'm going to remove this because I don't need it. Oop. Delete. There we go. Uh, delete the mosaic, too. <laughs> uh, but that's it. That's how you create, you know, simple text and, I guess, uh, mask um motion tracking and it's pretty awesome you know 